Hey guys, Adam from Equip to Endure here. Well, this video is going to be on cord wrapping your handles of your knives. I've had a couple questions in regards to cord wrapping, and some people requested I do a couple of examples. I use 550 cord or whatever kind of cord to do to wrap some handles for improved grip or shock resistance against some of these heavier blades. I have one here on my Tom Brown tracker. Now you guys have recently seen that I've, seen that I've purchased my well, purchased the new scales for my BK2. Uh, so today what we're going to do is we're going to make a lanyard for the BK2 and also we're going to do some tests on the handle to put a cord wrap there. Now, any knife that you have like this, like the BK2, any of these heavier blades or the Becker, you're going to have, you're going to have from time to time a lot, of, a lot of shock when you go to chopping because it's such a heavy piece of steel. You know, anytime you're coming down with that energy, you know, when it bounces off of something or it strikes something, that energy is going to come into your hand. And believe it or not, after a while of chopping, you, your, your hand or wrist can start to ache. Uh, and you know I've experienced that, I've experienced that several times. Or the next day I'm just, my hands are hurting like anything, because I've been out chopping with a knife all day long. One of the reasons why chopping with an axe is a little bit more, a little bit more effective. Now, also with the handle like this on the on the Becker, I'm sorry, on the Tom Brown Tracker, or even like I have on my K bar here, I I've kind of gone gone to these finger lanyards. So. When I'm holding the knife, I can kind of get back there a little bit f further along, especially on the Tom Brown tracker, where I can slip my hand in here. You guys have seen this before. And so when I go to grab it, I'm grabbing it further back here to use it for the chopping motion. And I get a little bit more leverage. So that works pretty well. I do have this cord wrapped right there for that specific purpose, because that's the main part of my hand that's going to grab the knife when I'm doing a chopping type motion. Some basic instruments you need for this is just some 550 cord, a sharp knife to cut the, the cord, and a lighter once you get it fixed. So we'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back. I had the rare opportunity to film inside my house today because uh, the kids aren't here today. So I'm gonna try a little over the shoulder type uh, angle to see so you guys can get the best perspective uh, for doing this wrap. Uh, so just stand by and we'll see if we can get it worked out and uh, hopefully it'll be a success. So let's keep in consideration. Anytime that you're working with the knives, it's always good to somehow secure the cutting edge in a way that'll protect you a little bit. So I got a roll of uh, masking tape right here. You can use this, you can use duct tape, whatever. We're come over here, we're gonna give it a fold. And just make some space around the edge. Cutting us. As you guys know, I have cut myself on my knives before. And my thumb is doing great. <laughs> are a great item to throw in your bag, they're cheap. You can go to pretty much any seamstress store or you can probably find them in the grocery store actually. They roll pretty well, and anytime you're building a shelter or anything else out, it's always good to have a uh, measuring tool of some sort so you, you can be pretty uniform. I mean, I usually roll this one up, throw a rubber band over top of it, and it stays pretty well. Also, and I actually brought this to do an example, also learn some measurements of your body. You know, measure your, your wrist, your elbow. One thing I do is measure when you're wrapping cordage. So when you wrap once around, you can get a measurement of roughly how long that is. And for me, I know that's roughly um, three feet. So one loop is three foot right there. So this will just help you out. So anytime you know you're out in the field or whatnot, you're wrapping cords, you're making bundles or something, it'll just give you an extra tool. You you know that I know that you know 36 inches for for a wrap for me for my body. So we're gonna size. start out here. We got our knife. The first thing we're gonna do is I have one separate piece of cordage that I've removed from this hundred foot hank right here. All right, so the first side is already sealed up, melted pretty well. So we're going to take this piece here, kind of pull the outer shell up a little bit because, as you can see, some of it's already moved out. Now this stuff at that point is like napalm. Be careful when you're touching this. It takes a couple seconds to solidify, but if it's wet, it will glue itself to your hand and burn and leave you with some nasty burns. So, I mean, you guys have worked with 550 core before. You know, and sometimes this stuff will drip, you know, stay on, stay on fire. So it's never, that's never a I don't know if this knife really needs a cord wrap, but I'm going to go ahead and try one out and see how I like it. If it's something that I think is pretty good, I'll, I'll probably keep it on there. Uh, the micarter handle is already pretty comfortable. There's great ergonomics with this knife already. So it doesn't necessarily need a cord wrap, but we're going to go ahead and do one uh, for this. Where do we want our starting sake? point to be? Do you want it to be up front or in the back? We want to start the length about right there. 
and we're going to make a loop right there. Now this loop is going to be important to secure the wrap after we're what done. What I like to do, and I've seen some other people do, is I like to actually wrap the cord either around my foot. I can pull back and tighten it as much as I can uh, when I get when I get a link there. Now you got to watch out. It's better to do around your around your boot or something like that, so you don't cut off the circulation to your foot. But so right there. I can pull it tight and know that I'm going to pull the, the wrapping very tight around the grip, like so. So your first wrap, you're just going to come over and come down right behind that other piece. And then you let up a little bit and then pinch to keep some tension. So there's our first wrap. We're going to pinch right there to keep some tension on that loop. Let's tighten it a little bit. I believe it or not, the hardest part of this is getting that first loop in there because every once in a while it's kind of cinching down on itself and you don't have to worry about it. So, alright. Now you can see why this tape is very important. Now one thing you can do too is actually even put the cord, the cord in water let it soak in water before you wrap it and you can actually get a tight tight fit there so I'll loosen some slack and I'm pressing my thumb down here to make sure it's nice and tight next to the next to the following piece so now we're getting to the end the of last here. thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take this right here we'll probably go one more time around and we're going to pull that loop through there alright remember that loop we put in there to begin with all right, so then we have a pair of pliers here. I'm going to grab this other piece and start pulling that through. And see our, we're going to tighten down on it. Before we get it any tighter, pull it a little bit more. All right, now this is a good time to cut this right here before you tighten it anymore. And that way you have a little bit more room to, to seal it. So there we have it guys, pretty instant, uh, pretty easy, pretty seamless, you got a little bit of tag here, a little bit of tag right This grip there. is pretty substantial, you might not want to grip that thick, but it's just an example of how you, how you do it, so it's a little about 7 feet of cordage right there, so that's not bad, alright, so there we have that one, it's pretty comfortable, alright, doesn't weigh that much. So there you guys have it. This is Adam from Equip to Endure. If you guys have any questions or comments, please email me at adam at equiptoendure.com. You guys take care. Stay safe out there. Remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks. Okay.